hey guys welcome back to my channel so it just dawned on me the other day while i was cleaning around my house that you know i've been living in germany for 15 years you guys yes i am that old okay <laughs> i'm in my mid-30s okay <laughs> and uh, i simply just don't want to move back like i won't be moving back i <laughs> you know will be dying hopefully in a very very long time in germany as a matter of fact i even wish to be buried here <laughs> my mom is not going to be happy about this <laughs> anyways and there are many reasons why you know first of all i have a daughter that is half german and was born here so even if i wanted to go back like it wouldn't be now i would have to wait until my daughter is you know 19 or something like that and she's 11 for reference so you know i couldn't even be moving in the next few years but i also do not want to move for and i want to say that i'm not making this video to make my country look bad you know i love my country i am a proud senegalese woman but you know the truth is the truth and you know these are actually you know factual things and they are things that bother me and again that are true so I would say that infrastructure is one of the reasons why I won't be moving back. Like I have been accustomed to a certain lifestyle here in Germany in terms of, you know, infrastructures like there's the train, you know, the metro. Like I do have a car, but I appreciate knowing that I could, you know, ride with the train if I wanted to. Um, you know, hospitals that have like the latest technologies, which is not the case of Senegal because it is, you know, a third world country i hate that term but in this case it is factual you know it is one of the poorest countries in the world at the end of the day so there are some hospitals for reference and some school that do not even have toilets so you know talk less of x-ray and if they do have it like it is so expensive that only a certain percentage of the population can afford it one of another, the another reason why I won't be moving to Senegal is because Senegalese people tend to be very dogmatic, okay? <laughs> and you know, I am more spiritual than religious and I am not, you know, someone who likes echo chambers. I mean, I appreciate a good echo chamber from time to time. You know, I watch Chrissy, Paris Milan, you know, Iloho, and <laughs> For Harriet and stuff, you know, which those channels are very echo chambery, but I do appreciate a good echo chamber from time to time but in the grand scheme of things I also appreciate talking to other people that share like a different perspective than mine it helps me you know keep an open mind sometimes I learn something and you know sometimes I even change my mind like when presented with facts you know I'm not ashamed or embarrassed to change my mind like I mean factual fact okay not <laughs> you know your emotions are not factual like not what you believe is factual but you know if someone present me with a good case and you know explain to me how I am actually wrong about something I may reconsider but see this is not a thing for Senegalese people especially when it comes to religion you know they are not willing to reconsider that shit okay <laughs> so yeah this is why i won't be moving back here oh and my mom is gonna be big mad about this video <laughs> another reason why i'm not going back <laughs> anyways the third reason why i won't be moving back to senegal is health insurance you know not everyone in senegal is insured now i would say at this point i do have enough money where i could afford a health insurance there but it is just complicated they do not pay everything back and it's just you know it's just very complicated like you could be insured and still have to come out of pocket which would never happen here in germany now the fourth <laughs> and most controversial reason why i won't be going back to senegal it's colorism futurism texturism like i simply couldn't deal with having to explain to someone every second day why i won't bleach my skin i just I just don't have the time the wish the energy like last time i was on holiday there i was just mind you i was just at my cousin's and my cousin is an amazing lash technician and i was just minding the business that pays me and this woman walk in and is like oh my god you dropped that gorgeous and i say well thank you and she's like you would just look so much better like it would take you to the extra mile if you just split your skin like if you were light skin you would be everything and i'm like excuse you like did i ask you for your opinion about my skin tone you know like 
then my she wasn't even like her bleaching wasn't even even like i was like ma'am you know like let me tell you something i will bleach the day you can even out this skin tone okay and my cousin was like oh that's shady i'm like you see this is the thing with Senegalese people as well you know as this woman attacked me my cousin didn't have anything to say but as i answered her she was big mad she was upset because obviously this is her shop and her business and whatever so i also get it to a certain extent but whatever you know i have aunties that come at me and say oh if you just bleach your skin you'll find a husband and i'm like mm. i mean i found husbands before with this skin tone so <laughs> i should be able to find the next one you know <laughs> anyways you guys you know there are many many reasons why i won't be moving back to Senegal that i can't all put in this video because I do not know how to edit i'm not even fan of fraud like all the videos that are your what that you are watching on my channel are unedited unedited <laughs> yeah like <laughs> help me out okay if you if you know how to edit give me some tips some pointers <laughs> you know an easy baby easy like you know editing for dummies software <laughs> editing 101 <laughs> i appreciate you enormously ginormously for watching this video to the end you are a true mvp do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel you know for more fun content okay <laughs> i will talk to you guys in the next one bye guys Mwah. love you